for all of you people that cannot do a strict press up, this is for you. And when I talk about strict press up, in previous videos I've shown this to people before. A strict press up is a press up in which you start, and I'm going to go down to a plank position here. So if I start down in this plank position here, then what should happen is from this position, I should go down with my spine alignment, with my head in line as well, all the way down to the floor, and then back up again. That is a strict press up. A strict press up is not a half movement, it's not a movement where the head goes down to the floor, like this. It's not a movement where I worm down. Okay, a strict movement is holding that plank position so you've got good core stability in there, working. You work all the way down. Your elbows aren't going to flare up and out, they're going to work slightly down your body. Down here like this, pressing up. If you cannot do a strict push-up, an exercise that is not really going to help you get better at push-ups is a kneeling push-up. And it's not an exercise I will prescribe to people very often. So, one. So a kneeling push-up. First of all, there's not a lot of core work involved in kneeling push-up. You're taking out a lot of the weight as well, so it makes it a very easy, much easier exercise. The angles aren't quite correct on the kneeling push-up, and also it's very, 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 very easy to end up doing a kneeling push-up, your bum going back and pushing like this. And I see this all the time. It's just too easy to cheat a kneeling push-up, okay? A strict kneeling push-up, your body stays forward there, your hips stay forward, and going down and up is a bit better, okay? But still, to me, too easy to get wrong, and the angle you're working at isn't desirable for the training scene you're looking for to get closer to a press-up. So you have two alternatives. The first alternative is a raised push-up on a box or on a bench, depending on how good or how far away from a full push-up you are. So I would always start people on a high box like this. If you haven't got a box in your gym, you haven't got a box, then you can find a rig, put a barbell across, and set that at a height at which you're going to do the press-ups. Or you can do it on a Smith machine as well. There's one good use for a Smith machine, okay, and that is doing push-ups on a Smith machine. The rest of the time, Smith machines are pretty crap. You can basically leave those and not use them for anything else apart from maybe hanging your coat on and doing push-ups. Or some pull-ups as well if you put the bar on. But otherwise, don't bother with it. Into your press-up position, holding a plank position like so. The other good thing about this is that you know when you're getting better because you can always measure touching your chest down to the box. Like so. If you can do that comfortably, then you can move down to a slightly lower box. And again, if you're doing it on the rig, you just move the rig down to a lower setting, maybe one, one at a time. In fact, sometimes on the rig, it's easier because it's moved down in smaller increments. So you can actually really gradually work your way down the rig each time. So the lower you get, the closer you are to a full presser. That would be the simplest way to work up to scaling a presser. If you're in somewhere where you're just training on your own and you want to get closer to the press up, a great variation on that is to do a band assisted press up. So you'll need something to hang your band, band on. Okay? Whether that's the top of a rack like so, or you'll probably find a machine where there's a pull up bar. If you're in a regular gym, there's always a cable machine with a pull up bar in it. You can even hang the band from that Smith machine up to about earlier, okay? Another use for that Smith machine is to hang a band from. So there you go, we're adding about three uses to something that's not very useful. So let's get this out here. I'm going to get the band underneath so it's sitting around my chest like so. I'm going to come down on the floor and then this band is going to help me. Obviously at this point here it's giving me some assistance already, but when I go down to the bottom of the press up, the band's at maximum stretch, that's giving me maximum assistance. And then I drive up. Now, obviously, you can get various assistance in the bands. You can get heavier bands, lighter bands. This is a red band. 
which is one of the least amounts of resistance. But even then, at the bottom, I can feel really comfortable. This leg is really helping me out. And I can rip out loads. Great way of adding a bit of speed training as well, because it feels a bit faster driving up from there. Often, most people find the hardest part of the press at the bottom position where you get the most help, and the easiest part is the top position because obviously you're slightly angled up as well. So it's a great way to build up to doing a full push-up. So stop doing kneeling push-ups if you can. Try and do something on a, a box or on a rig or a smith machine. And the, I would say that would be your optimum to build up to that full push-up. I think you should help, guys. Any questions, if you'd like me to talk about any other exercises, like any further advice, then please just leave in the comments below and I'll either make a video or I'll give you an answer in those comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check me out on Facebook.